Good morning, you guys. It's Linz. Um, it is Monday morning, uh, 4.30 in the morning. Um, I just got out of the shower and I have about an hour before I have to wake up Mikey for school. So I thought I'd come on here and we're gonna do kind of um, kind of a journal with me um, while I do a Q&A. So this is the lectern that I'm using. Um, I think I posted this on Instagram and I also showed you in my last video, but um, so I've only prepped probably the first half of the pages. So I figured we'd do some more while I answer your guys' question. Um, I went ahead and tore out some magazines that I wanna use in this journal, if they'll fit. I, this journal's so small, I'm used to the bigger ones, but, um, and then I also busted out, um, I have one of those tall, clear storage drawer things, um, and I do one for each season or holiday. So this is my fall and Halloween. Um, I have all my stickers, my ephemera, frames, alphabets. Um, the only thing I don't have in here is washi. I do have some old ribbon. Um, I have die cuts and stuff. So yeah, this is my, how cute those are. This is my fall and Halloween drawer. Um, of course, this is not everything. I still have more stuff. I really need to organize my stash, but I thought we'd get right into it. So um, this is where I left off writing today. Let's see what I've prepped. So here's blank. <laughs> Faith got me the pumpkin spice lip balm from Burt's Bees. So um, I guess we'll go with this page. Let me grab my scissors. And um, okay, so question number one from one of his does Kaba ever read your journals and does he journal himself? Um, every once in a while, he'll read my journals, uh, especially if he thinks that there's like something going on with me. Um, but he does it like secretly. And I, if he would just ask me, I would let him read it. I mean, I'm not trying to, I'm not hiding anything, but, um, but every once in a while he will, yes. Um, he does not journal. He used to, I think I did a video on his journal um, that he kept when he first came to the States. I think I, I'm pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I did a flip through of it, but yeah, he used to, but not since we've met. This was before we even met and he was in high school, I think. And yeah, so no, he does not journal, but yes, he'll read my journals if he feels like there's something going on with me, if he can tell something's bothering me and he'll ask me what's wrong and I'll say nothing. You know how us women are. <laughs> So, yeah, good question. Thank you, one of his. I appreciate it. Um, second question, pen, pens and journaling. Do you carry a pen bag with you? And if so, what's in your bag? Um, as many of you, you might not know, uh, but I work from home now ever since COVID. Um, I've been working from home, um, so I rarely leave the house. If I leave the house, it's to go grocery shopping or um, get gas or you know something like that so I don't really have a pen bag anymore if I'm going to my friend Faith's or Jewel's house and I know we're gonna be you know scrapbooking or sometimes I'll take my journals and prep them then yeah I'll just throw sharpies and washi and glue into um, a bag and I have several several bags um, a lot of you have sent me bags actually um they're always rainbow themed so they're very cute that doesn't look very good but oh well and while i'm on the subject here um these are the glue sticks that i use all the time the scotch permanent glue stick they're the only ones i found that will work um and I'll show you something else here in a second. So, um, and then pens and journaling also wanted to know what song makes you happy. Um, my favorite song of all time is uh, Red Red Wine by UB40. Um, but any any music from my childhood or when Kaba and I met, we met back in 2003, any of those songs just make me happy. So um, music can take you right back to a time in your life. And that's why it's so important for me. I love music. So thank you, pens and journaling. Thank you so much. Um, so number three, love to journal 2021. What stickers do you like to use if you use them? I will use anything. 
um, stickers from my stash that may be, you know, years old, or sometimes I'll order new stickers off Amazon or Wish or, you know, wherever, wherever I can get stickers from Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. I do not discriminate. <laughs> I love stickers of every kind, especially like, um, vintage or Lisa Frank anything fun and colorful and then depending on what time of year it is um you know i like to use whatever stickers i have so um yeah these were just some halloween pretzels i found in a magazine i just thought they'd be kind of fun to add in so um love to journal 2021 thank you so much for the for the question i really appreciate it um i'm just gonna Oh, I didn't even check to see if I was in frame. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm just going to... Number four, Imperfect Pages. What's your favorite journal you have filled this year? I would say this year would have to be my New York City travel journal because that trip was just amazing. And we had so much fun. And it was fun journaling, you know, documenting everything. Saving all the receipts and the ephemera from our trip and reliving it printing the pictures it was just that's probably my favorite journal so thank you imperfect pages um number five you know me underscore bernadette hey girl how many journals have you completed this year so far and i totally meant to count them i forgot i got too excited to come down here and film so um i guess let's see i'm guessing this is probably like my eighth ninth maybe I tend to do one journal each month, but I think there was a time when I didn't. So that's a really good question. I'll have to get back to you on that one. Uh, maybe I'll post that on Instagram, kind of give an update. So thanks, Bernadette, I appreciate Sorry, I couldn't really answer it, but if I'm guessing eight or nine. <laughs> um, and then from Louise Smithy, my girl Louise, um, how has the pandemic affected your journal habits? Um, I'm a, probably about the same. I mean, I still journal every single morning. I'll journal on my lunch if there's something I need to write about. And then after work, if there's something I need to write about. So um, I know when I was working out of the home, I would take my journals with me to work every day. And on my lunch, I would sit and journal. So yeah, I think actually maybe I'm writing more now that I'm home. I don't, that's a good question, girl. I don't know. Um, and when you glue your pages together, how do you make sure they don't curl or warp? And I'm going to show you guys because there's some pages back here that I didn't glue yet. Um, so I always glue two pages together because I like to write with the Sharpie permanent markers. They're my favorite. Um, so I just take this Scotch brand. You can get these on Amazon. I buy them by like packs of 20, I think. So I just kind of round my pages with the glue, make sure to get the corners and the edges. And then I'll just kind of fill it in like this. And then I'll close my book, just kind of smoosh it down just to make sure, you know. And this is it, so. And then I just kind of straighten it out like this so it doesn't get all warpy. It really, it smooths it out. I mean, you can still see but it's not crinkly or anything. It's really nice, I love it. That's why I love these glue sticks, they're really good. So yeah, it's all about making sure you, you know, smooth it out. That's it, simple. Um, and then where do I find my plan ahead journals? Um, we have a, I know you're in London, we have a local pharmacy called CVS, they sell them. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can also find them on Amazon. I've found them on there a couple times. You don't always get to pick what cover you get, which I don't like. But, I mean, if you get one you don't like, you can always change up the cover, you know, like I did with this one. I just used scrapbook paper and made it my own. So, thanks, Louise. I appreciate it so much. So, that's kind of simple and silly, but it'll look okay once I write in it. So... All right, next one is from Kelly. <laughs> a really long Kelly. If you could have, if you could only have one type of journaling supplies to decorate for the rest of your life, what would you pick and why? Um, to decorate, to decorate. I think I would want 
stickers. I think, yeah, I think stickers would be a, assuming that I have pens and stuff that I can write with, but to decorate with, yeah, um, stickers definitely. I thought about washi tape, but I think stickers make it more, I don't know, more fun, I guess. I'm just looking to see if I have any more Halloween stuff in here. <sighs> These are all like ads for models and makeup and trying to keep it somewhat fall-like, but let's see, where did that one page go? I really liked this one. I really like this page. Um, so some people too will ask where I get my magazines from. Um, if you look on Amazon, if you're in the U.S., maybe they have it in other countries too, but Amazon will have specials on magazine subscriptions. I just signed up for like four or five more subscriptions. They were $5 each, you guys. You get a whole year of magazines sent to your house for five bucks. So once I'm done reading the magazines, then I will um, cut them up like this. And I usually save all my magazine clippings into like a, it's a plastic envelope and I just keep them and go through them whenever I'm starting a new journal. So, yeah, check out the $5 yearly subscriptions on Amazon. I mean, you can't beat that. So, um, Baker.Whitney, how many pen pals do I have and how often do we write? Um, right now, I only have, like, I think one pen pal. Um, Katerina, my friend that's in Canada, um... I know a lot of people we've stopped writing back and forth and that's okay I get busy too I mean I get it I completely get it um, and a lot of the times like if I get mail from someone that's never written me before um, you know it just wants to say hey and thank you and whatever um, I'll write them back but I'm reaching for my paper cutter here um, yeah as far as pen pails go I think right now I just have Katerina so and what was her other question? Um, can I do an empty journal video? Absolutely. If you guys want to see that, I'd be happy to film that. Um, I would love to film a lot more for you guys, but I swear sometimes I think you would be bored and I don't exactly know what everyone wants to see. But I love these Q&A videos because it gives me a chance to, um, to know what you guys are thinking. So um, I appreciate everyone that participated in this, by the way. Um, so I'll do the empty journal collection video soon. And then from Annie, hey Annie, uh, where do I prefer to journal and do I have a special place? Um, so I usually journal at our kitchen table. Um, early in the morning when I wake up, I'll go to my end of the table. I have this light that I bought specifically for when I'm sitting there to write or craft. Um, and I'll make my coffee and sit there and enjoy the quiet while I write. Um, and then if it's too crowded out there, I'll go to our bedroom and write. Um, so yeah, I will probably have a special place here soon. My mother-in-law is leaving Thursday. She's like, she's not going to be living with us anymore. So that's huge, which means that I will probably get her bedroom, um, to finally use as a home office. So I'm really excited for that. And look how crooked that is. You guys see? Even I make mistakes. <laughs> Let me trim that up so it doesn't look so silly. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that once she leaves, I can turn her bedroom into my home office that Kaba promised me years ago. Um, and then I'd like to create like a little journaling nook in there. So I'm kind of excited. I'm excited that she's going home because um, she's lived with us for six and a half years. It's been rough. It's been rough for Mikey and I. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, and then Annie also asked, do I bring my journal with me wherever I go? Not anymore. Um, like I said, I work from home. I don't go out much anymore. If I take it with me, it's to go to a friend's house to hang out. So, um, yeah, I don't carry it with me like I used to. I used to take it to work, to Mikey's basketball games, um, you know, pretty much anywhere but now I don't have to so um thank you Annie and then Becca underscore rawr. <laughs> does my hand ever cramp from writing so much heck yes 
Whew, I've had to stop writing before because my hand just would not stop cramping. So I'll massage it. I'll go do something, you know, for a little bit and then I'll come back and keep writing. So yes, girl. And my wrist sometimes, I'm really scared I'm gonna get carpal tunnel or something because um, sometimes my wrist will kind of lock up. But um, yeah, thanks for the question, Becca. Um, it's your girl, Tasha. Any upcoming trips I'm looking forward to? Actually, yes, I am going to um, Gaylord, Michigan. Not this week, but I think next week. It's like October 5th through the 9th. Um, my friend's parents own a lake house up there. So we're going up there um, for girls weekend to see all the color changes. The leaves are changing right now and it's absolutely beautiful. So um, I'm excited about that. Now, I of course will take my journal and I'll be posting from up there, but yeah, it is gorgeous up there and I'm excited for that. I'm excited to get away um, and have some girl time and just get a break. You know us moms, we get so tired and worn out and I just, I need a moment. <laughs> to myself so thank you Tasha um, and then the last question it looks like Lily Q 55 um, does Kaba or Mikey watch my channel um, no Mikey one time told me that um, this was a couple years ago when he was in middle school that a couple of his classmates found my channel and you know teased them about it not anything bad but they were just like i found your mom's channel on youtube you know so he was a little embarrassed but no he doesn't watch it he doesn't care about my journals he doesn't he's a boy so i get it but i'm hoping that <laughs> when he settles down in a few years that whatever girl he's with will appreciate this and ask for his scrapbooks and all that stuff so we'll see um, so that page, I just threw some, this says candy corn kisses. So I just threw some candy corn on there. Some old stickers from my stash. Um, and then Lily Q 55 also asked, um, any other hobbies besides journaling? Yes. Um, I do um, scrapbooking, card making, um, I guess pen paling, uh, project life. I like to do the coloring uh, let's see what else. I love making gift baskets for friends and family. And I know there's more. <laughs> there's more. I know there is. Um, but I guess that's the gist of it. Um, and then what's something you wish you'd known about the journaling community before starting your channel? <sighs> um, I guess be careful who you trust. And I, I hate, this really bothers me, but not everyone is your friend. Not everyone is there to support you like they may claim they are. So I just, I, I guess a word of advice, be careful who you trust on the internet. Um, I don't know, people just seem so vicious and mean lately. I don't understand what's happening. Um, but yeah, I wish I'd known, I wish someone would have told me like, you know, just be careful who you trust, who you open up to, who you tell things to, because not everyone is your friend. And that's hard for me to accept because I I love being kind to people. I love having friends, you know, um, but I just, I've gotten burnt so many times. It just, it sucks. So, um, yeah, just be careful who you trust on here, you guys. And you are going to have critics. People are going to hate on you. They'll find any reason. They'll dig up dirt on you just just because they want to. They want to be evil. So it's just sad, you know. I try to bring positivity in the world, and I'm by no means perfect. Not in any way, shape, or form. Trust me. Um, but that doesn't give anyone a right to pass judgment, you know, or start stuff or say awful things about me. I don't know. Just be careful. Just be careful. So um, that was my last question. That went by so quick, you guys. Oh, well, it's almost 20 minutes, so that's pretty good. But yeah, so I'm just going to keep decorating um, with all my Halloween goodies. Um, <clears throat> and if you think of any more questions you'd like to ask me, uh, go ahead and I, I can do a part two if you guys want. You tell me what you want because I'm here for you guys. So, um, but yeah. 
thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I know this was a long one and I hope, I hope your questions were answered and I will see you guys soon. All right. Happy Monday. Love you guys. Bye.